You know that old saying that the hits just keep right on coming? Well, I believe that's the most perfect way of describing the PS Vita homebrew scene. There's always something new coming, and I mean that in a good way. Although I think you could only really mean that in a good way. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, you know that weird guy that talks about blah 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 PS Vita? And if you are in fact new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to leave me your thoughts and comments down in the, uh, well, comment section. Okay, so we got a lot to talk about here today in this episode of homebrew news for PS Vita, so let's get just right on to it. In fact, let's agoo. Consider that a subtle segue on a game later in this video. Trust me though, it's gonna be a bad joke. First up, and again game that has got many a people excited in the Vita community, we have an official, unofficial, port of this war of mine. A game that I have never even heard of. But it has got a lot of people excited, so let's talk about it. And after doing a little bit of detective work on this game, I can see why people are so excited. Because in this, you don't play as an actual soldier, but rather a group of civilians who are trying to survive in a besieged city. Struggling, of course, with the lack of food, medicine, and constant danger from snipers and hostile scavengers. Hey, I live in South Central, so I know exactly what they're going through with this. Happens to me on a daily basis. Only instead of snipers, we have drive-bys. So it's certainly a unique twist on the whole war aspect. You're not just gonna go guns a-blazing like you would in any FPS shooter. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And for an individual such as myself, the whole thought of starvation is truly the most terrifying thing of all. Worse than anything I'd see on the streets. So if you're looking for a whole pseudo semi-horror war-themed adventure game to play, this one just might be what the doctor ordered. The South Central Doctor, yo. So many of you out there may take an interest to know that we have a new visual novel game on the Vita called Sakura Swim Club. I have no idea what the plot is and I barely have heard about this game, but already it's a 10 out of 10 in my book. Is it hot in here or is it just me? So in Sakura Swim Club, you follow the story of Kaede, just your average, you know, dude guy, which is very common for games like this. Trust me, he's not important. And upon transferring to a new university, he meets two beautiful girls in the swim club. Things haven't been going well for the swim club lately, so you know, with his help, that'll all change. Make a splash as the new hero to the swim club. Meet beautiful girls in bathing suits. <laughs> That's probably the best way you could sum up a game like this. Meet girls in swimsuits. You don't need anything else. And make decisions which impact the story. Soon you'll be meeting together outside of practice to share some extra time together and see where that leads. <laughs> I think we can only imagine. So this game is awesome. Highly recommend it. 10 out of 10. Even though I haven't played it yet. So, anime females in swimsuits not your thing? Well, I mean, it should be. But if it's not by some sort of odd reason, then maybe an anime-themed music rhythm game will be right up your alley. This is Osu Octave. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And from the digging up I could do on this one, it seems to be a open source music rhythm game, which I guess leads to the fact that you'd be able to add your own themes and music to something like this. Not 100% sure. But from what I can tell, you have to tap the buttons to the beat using the touchscreen. So this doesn't look like it'd be a title that would be very... Uh, PSTV friendly, which always puts me in a depression whenever I hear that phrase. But as a music rhythm game fan, I say the more the merrier. Just add them to the pile at this point. Okay, moving away a bit from the anime theme, yet another phrase that always puts me in a depression. We have a new title for the PS Vita called Black by Skiz. But let's just call it black because that's easier to say. And thus makes my quality of life so much better. So just by looking at a title like this, why am I getting the feeling that amnesia is going to be playing a big role in it? Huh. Let's take a look at the description now, shall we? You wake up in a dark place with seemingly no memory of your past or whereabouts. And it's black. So black. Be careful. Oh, game. You did not disappoint. And from by the looks of it, it seems to be a choose your own adventure visual novel. Thus, if you love visual novels and very dark places, um, well, you know what to do. Y'all remember how I made a goo reference at the beginning of this video? And I warned you it was gonna be bad. Well, this is the game I was foreshadowing with that reference. Hmm, sounded a lot more epic when I wrote it on paper. You have a script? Nah, not really. So yeah, the PS Vita can now play World of Goo, so let's a goo. Yeah, it's not very funny at the second time, or the first. So World of Goo is a physics-based puzzle slash construction game made entirely by two dudes from what I'm hearing. They're much more important than Kaede, we can assume. And just why am I getting little Big Planet vibes all of a sudden? But unlike that game, this game is pretty weird. Well, actually, Little Big Planet was pretty weird in its own right. In this, you gotta drag and drop 
up living, squirming, talking globs of goo to build structures, bridges, cannonballs, zeppelins, and giant tongues. Yes, you heard that right. Tongues. Hmm, there's a sexual joke in there somewhere that I can't think of. It'll come to me though. I guess these little critters are just curious to explore things. And apparently they don't know that they're in the game or that they're extremely delicious either. At least that's what I'm hearing anyway. I've never really eaten a ball of goo before. Sounds like something though that I'd be daring enough to try, just like how we should all try out this. Nah, just kidding. Eating goo doesn't seem like it'd be a very pleasant experience. Okay, so moving back, back into the whole anime-based theme here, thus my depression ends, we have Undead Slayer, which may or may not contain some Zambis. Honestly though, with a name like that, it better. Although considering that the whole plot of this game is to travel to ancient China to fight the undead, I think we're on a good track here. So Undead Slayer is a 3D action game where you control a wandering warrior who challenges endless hordes of enemies while traversing medieval China. You'll advance across the map through 90 different levels and your objective will always be the same to survive by killing the enemies that appear in staggering waves which now that I think about it is kind of the objective to most games so it's sort of dynasty warrior ish in a way I guess between levels in undead slayer you can customize your main character with different kits and powers to inflict devastating damage on your enemy you can also retool your weapons and kit as well as your comrades to help you in battle so as a fan of dynasty warriors this looks like this would be something right up my alley and if you like it then it would be for you too be up random waves of people. It's what we do. Well, that was certainly a lot of games, and I have a feeling that there's gonna be plenty more to come. So guys, I would love to know, which games are you excited for the most? Which one of these have you already played? Which one of these have you not known about? And which one of these is just a solid pass for you? Yes, we even endorse negativity here on this channel. Did you not notice my anime depressions earlier? So get a writing or a typing down in the comment section. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous supporters who help make this content possible. So a big thank you goes out to Michael O'Connor, H Hitter, Jelle, Joseph Shavak, Richard Cruz, PS Vita S, Adam Sondi, Hero Acer, David Ray, Wendy K, Hemdal Imbert, Gutter Drums, Rodrigo Vera, Crazy Cat, Heston Joseph, Kevin Enright, Jared Hado, VG Legends, Clayman Malarkey, BMF, Skullshire Tugel TCG, Adam Thurry, Per Sterner, Silica, JR, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, Phantom XRS, Sabin Fire, Chris Foxhound, Dr. Super Artie, Ricardo Martinez, Donut Valley, Nintendo Switch at 2am, Azumara, 1488 Dental, Rizal Pliskin, Buzz Saiyan, Matt Hargit, Mazgus, Tasha Monti, Eric DeWitt, Juan M. Hermesillo, Burz in Mystery, Kayonko, Hector Gonzalez, Franz Hartle, Aridri, No Good, Lacerated 87, PSP Guru, Jamie, Air Kick 72, Makis Blob, Rendy Azadech, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Zacrito, Alan Iwazuk, Reiko Star, Shin Snake, Neo Arashi, Milk Sama, Bushin Ryu Cat, and Mashuga360. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and gaining access to a number of perks, including having your name featured on the end screen of these videos, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided to, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from both Amazon and PlayAsia for anyone who is interested in purchasing something from them. Basically, the way it works is all you have to do is use one of those links to simply access their website, then anything you purchase afterwards, a small commission will go to help support this content at no extra cost to you. And I also have channel merchandise available, and of course, as always, likes and shares can help equally as much. Well, remember how I said earlier that that sexual joke was eventually going to come to me? It never came to me. Wait, that's a joke in itself now, isn't it?